how you doing and uh, welcome back to I got something to say as normally I would say thank you for allowing me to come in front of your eyes um, it's been a while since I have um, really been serious about putting out uh, a video here because you know on YouTube you gotta be stellar you gotta be stellar for anyone to really hear and 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 really be in tune with what you're saying um, or you gotta have some really good editing or you gotta have a really good um, uh, team that know how to make that movie magic happen and then people want to tune in and then you can be like you know again like um, Onision or you can be like uh, these people who get have over 200,000 subscribers and all this other nice stuff. Well, you know, as you probably see, I only got 14 subscribers, but I really haven't been putting out anything. But for the next 30 days, I'm going to be putting out a lot. Um, I, I, I really am passionate about something which uh, recently came to me and during my writing I don't know if some of y'all recognize me um uh, you know but but how but, but how my uh how my email has been really piling up and things like that there I'm I'm taking that some of you kind of know who I am um they call me Soul Swirl on here but my name is Gregory Kelly and I write a, a, a two columns for examiner.com I write a relationship column a gay relationship column that you can check out on exm.nr slash Gregory Kelly G R E G O R Y K E L L E Y and I write a <coughs> gay uh, excuse me issues column for examiner.com that you can check out at exm.nr uh, slash G Kelly that's G K E L L E Y and that that I give my um, real and I'm talking about what I mean by real. I'm talking about I say what uh, most people don't want to say, but they know it, they know it's common sense and real when it comes to all this stuff happening to the gay community. I believe in unity. I believe in bringing the, the gay community together. I believe in telling it like it is. And there's just a lot of things that happen in the gay community that troubles me. And I don't want to be a part of the problem anymore. I want to be part of the solution. So this is this is what this is all about, and you know, being in Atlanta, sharing my time in Atlanta, uh, there's a lot of things that go on that's that's oblivious to people's eyes. Uh, one thing that really hitting people is about you know being black and HIV positive in Atlanta, <clears throat> and how black men are succumbing to these diseases that's just really um, rocking uh, the gay black community like there's this new strain of um, of uh, was it strain resistant uh, uh, vaccine resistance to syphilis there's this vaccine uh, resistant uh, staff and you got these resistant strains that are really rocking a lot of a lot of the uh, HIV black uh, community um, I just got word that a couple of associates that I know died from going to the hospital. They, they're HIV positive. They died from going to the hospital. They got staff or they got the syphilis and whatever, and they just died. And you know, and I'm like, my God, dude, this, it, it it really kind of hurts that they went through all that just to um, somehow mysteriously get this resist this particular resistant strain by going to the hospital and uh, coming out in, in a body bag and, and then and also have you heard in the news where you had that dude who went to these eight states he was working for I guess a healthcare um, corporation and he was he was using tainted needles he was injecting himself or whatever and he was using the needles and the dude had hepatitis and, and, and one of the places that he went to was Warner Robins Georgia Near, near Atlanta, about an hour and a half away from Atlanta. And, you know, but still, you know, HIV positive men everywhere. You don't, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that somehow I reached the, the, the larger city somehow. 
And, uh, and 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 but but the thing about it is this man didn't care. And this is another thing that's gonna be that's gonna be killing that can kill HIV positive men, especially black men, especially since the highest rate of HIV is happening within the black gay community. Especially since you got this download shit that really is, is rocking uh the black gay community. Uh, you know, so so I wanna make people aware. There's something going on that that's happening right in front of your eyes that we don't really want to admit and that is um, people are seeing HIV positive black men as trash expendable poverty stricken some a, a lot some of us are um, but definitely there's another statistic so how do we overcome and counteract the the stigma that's going on, and more than it's a stigma, it's a, it's, it's a factual statistic that that HIV AIDS is really hitting the gay black community hard. So we need to wake up, open our eyes. This, this we need to throw the shame, the shackles, and the guilt off our off our backs, our, our ankles, and and and, and wrists. We need to let these let people know that we are that we are um, powerful. We count, and we are part of the society that's never going to go away. Black people were here before any other people on the face of this planet was here, and and and, and long past America leaving the scene black people will still be here <sighs> so I guess my message for right now this is a real short one is that community gay community <clears throat> we gotta love each other we gotta help each other we can't see that though I'm talking about the black community here but what I'm trying to the message I'm really trying to say is that we all have the same common enemy. We all have the same common goal as gay people. Why can't we unite underneath that same premise that as gay people, as a gay community, we can overcome anything? The thing that we cannot overcome is the sense of divide that we have within this community and the fact that we don't want to support each other. And yes, we don't want to support each other. We want to act like we support each other. We got lots of communities that support a cause and a goal. Um, but they're all different goals. We haven't really sat down and did. We're not really in, in unity on nothing. Um, maybe it seems like projecting on my part. But what it really is, is just a little bit of aggravation. Because we got too many people trying to outgood each other. Meaning like I can do a little bit more good than you can. Or I can see myself in a little bit higher of a place than you can. And we all forget that, 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 that those rings down the ladder gets a real, get real deep when you're going back down. Because when you get right here, you missed for a time because you stepped away from the community. And then when you left all by yourself, you want to come back to the community. No. That's not how it should work. It's, you should be with us. We should be together from beginning to end. And I just feel like that this is a message that I want to blow. Um, this is part of a message I want to vlog about, vlog about for the next 30 days. I want to get something out that is is really escaping the mindset of so many of uh, gay people in the community. We need to stop seeing each other as different because we're not. Um, do you, if you can see how many people are getting killed out here. Look in the news. You know, I, I, I mean, they're attacking us from all sides. And I mean, they, I'm talking about anybody who is not um, for equality. Anybody who doesn't want to see gay people, American LGBT people, LGBT community, have the same happiness as they would for themselves, is our enemy. And this is not this is not the ranting of somebody who who is, is a lunatic. You know, there's always a conspiracy. 
Well, no, it's not a conspiracy. They put it right there in front. They put it right there in front of your face when they when they kill uh, our gay sister in in Texas, um, what is it, Molly Olgan. Uh, when they when the girl in, Lu in Louisville, she just got beat up. Then her mom left the name out the paper. But they went ahead and took those four adults that went ahead and attacked her. When they shot Mary Chop, uh, what is it, Mary Mary, you know, Mary Christine Chopper, and in Texas, and she fighting for her life, just had to have brain surgery. Um, yeah, yeah, it's happening. When they when they bash our brain in, they're not saying black or white. They saying gay faggot that's what they're saying so I just wanted to be sure that, that that message gets out that they're killing us and hurting us for the same premise we should be able to unite underneath that same banner of unity of being gay so that's that's what I wanted to say